Recently, NASA came under fire after the first all-women spacewalk had to be called off because the International Space Station didn't have enough female spacesuits on board. It's hard to believe that sexism is so ingrained that there was all that equipment and they only had one pink spacesuit. <laughs> when you look closer at the history of space exploration, you realise that right from the beginning, mankind's quest to conquer space has been fueled by sexism. On July the 21st, 1969, Neil Armstrong stepped onto the surface of the moon. It was one small step for man, one giant step away from women. The moon is man's shed, a blessed, silent refuge. <laughs> women are wondering why NASA didn't pack enough spacesuits for them. Because they don't want you up there. Take a fucking hint. <laughs> what indeed is a rocket, if not a giant fiery cock? A magnificent gleaming thruster blasting off from the ball of the earth to pierce the enveloping darkness. Mankind fashioned himself a godlike penis to penetrate space. No one has ever left the Earth's atmosphere in a vagina. That's just a scientific fact. <laughs> Sometimes, overexcited, the mighty cock rockets explode prematurely in a catastrophic orgasm of death. Who here can honestly say they haven't masturbated to footage of the Challenger disaster? <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> Men need to think about whether they should go into space or colonize anywhere else because we're not psychologically well enough to take ourselves into a new relationship with anything. Look at the men who want to go into space. Richard Branson wants to go to Mars. Admittedly, not as badly as I want him to go to Mars. <laughs> you have to wonder what he's done that he wants to leave Earth. Even Gary Glitter only had to leave Britain. <laughs> and maybe we should let him. Let him sit up there on his own, looking like a fucking pug. <laughs> but for the rest of us men, maybe we need to do some work on ourselves till we decide if we've got anything worth sharing. Good night. <laughs> <laughs>